talking about terrorism and talking about festivals. Can we please talk about this video? Can we please talk about one of the funniest videos I've seen in all time? Because this to me demonstrates why a lot of people don't deserve to go outside, why a lot of people don't know how to hang, why a lot of people don't know how to vibe, don't know how to have fun, don't know how to, you know, just do what you need to do when you go on holiday and you're at a festival, you go to an event, blah, 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 blah. blah. They just don't know what they're doing. They're flipping dumb, absolutely idiotic when it comes to preparing themselves to go certain places. And the reason why I say this is because of this video that's gone somewhat viral on social medias that features a group of friends who went abroad somewhere to a festival most likely, maybe to a holiday with their friends, and decided to do some trick or some hack they saw on TikTok. These guys saw a TikTok hack that said, if you put your joints in food, like you rolled up your joints, right? You rolled them up and you put them in a piece of sand, uh, inside a sandwich, inside of a hot dog that you could sometimes get through festivals, concerts, club nights, whatever, without them seeing your joints and throwing them away because you're sometimes not allowed to bring them in. These people were so dumb, they saw this TikTok video and they assumed it also applied to if you were traveling abroad. And obviously they found out that it doesn't work. That's somebody at an airport. There's a sniffer dog at the feet of these people. Obviously black. Obviously fucking stupid. And the person's going through their luggage because the sniffer dog has sniffed and you know smelled fucking marijuana and is going through their stuff as they were trying to leave the fucking airport. Can you imagine? No, you can't bring the food. Um, shot glass. Only food? That's the only food. That's the only food, y'all? Because... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We can check, uh, check again. They oh! Got more... <laughs> more that fucking dog, man. That dog. That dog is really rummaging. That dog is really rummaging. Look at that dog. That dog is a fucking knock. That dog is a knock. Look at that dog. <laughs> that dog's like, nah, there's some more things in there. There's some more things in there. Look at that dog. There's some more things in there. Go back, go back, go back, go back. We can check check again. They got more drugs. What they got? Look at the guy looking at the dog. Oh my god. He gives the dog a bad look. Look, the guy gave the dog a dirty look. Look how he's looking at the dog. Nigga, really? Nigga, really? Really? You gonna play me like that, nigga? You gonna play me like that? Really? <laughs> look how he's looking at the dog. Like... <laughs> oh my god. These dogs over here keep harassing us. Oh man, this is too funny. Another person comes, look what he finds. He finds a joint, of course. So, in general, right, they obviously get in trouble for it. But can you imagine how insane you have to be to try and smuggle joints, weed, zoots out from your country to another country? Pre-rolls. Can you imagine grinding up weed and trying to smug it out somewhere else? By the way, this technique this girl's using is mostly for festivals. Festivals usually... Don't let you bring in drinks. Don't let you bring in anything, let alone drugs. If you go to a festival, maybe you might be able to bring in a sandwich. This technique is actually pretty decent. If I'd go a step further. If I was going to a festival, I might get my... She's got a lot of um, pre-rolls in here. But I might get my pre-rolls and I might wrap it in cling film or something. Maybe a Ziploc bag and put it inside of a sandwich. And actually layer it with loads of fucking ham and mayo and shit. So that when they're looking at it through the you know cling film and shit, it just looks like a regular sandwich. That's what I might do. I might go that far. But surely if you're going abroad and you really want to smoke. I think part of the beauty of going abroad and if you really want to need to smoke. Is finding a local weed shop. They always exist. Most countries that you'd go to, especially if you're going to like a tourist destination, you're not the only person that likes to smoke. There's most likely going to be some sort of weed shop you can find. Maybe through Telegram, 
maybe through hashtags, maybe through talking to a fucking, you know, a young kid that you see working at the hotel or something or someone at the bar. You can usually find whatever you need at the location. You don't need to smuggle it out of the country you're in and risk fucking prison time. It's not that deep. And guess what? There's another option. If you're going abroad and you're going on holiday somewhere, you're going on vacation, maybe have a break. Maybe abstain from the joints, from the drugs, from whatever you do usually at home and just have some drinks over there, eat some food, get a tan and chill. Maybe it's not that deep. Maybe you don't need to be trying to score drugs everywhere you fucking go or trying to smuggle them out of the country. That is actually some pure nitty addict behavior. It's not that deep. Maybe a festival is quite nice. A festival, don't get me wrong. A domestic festival, putting a couple of joints in a fucking hot dog and putting it in your bag and getting in is quite a smart idea. I've seen other girls do a technique where they put the, where they buy the bottles. I'm sure some of you guys have seen them. There's like water bottles you can buy where they've got like a blank space. They've got like a invisible container section where you can put drugs in there. There's obviously those um, those fobs. I think uh, people sell them like fake key fobs where they've got compartments you can put shit in there. Lighters where it's a fake lighter that you can put shit inside it. You can obviously bull stuff. You can, you know, buff stuff if you need it be. But I think at a festival, it might be worth it. Also at a festival, you're not going to get arrested. At worst, they're going to throw your shit away. But most of the time at a festival, if they find stuff that you're, meant to, you're not meant to take in, usually they'll just confiscate it and you can still go in. So it's not that deep. But if you're going abroad, trying to smuggle stuff out of the country is absolutely insane. 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 Especially ground up weed in a fucking joint. Like, what are you doing? The closest I think you could get away with doing that sort of stuff is maybe ch putting in your check luggage. But still, that stuff still goes through dogs, you know, sniffers and shit and whatever. It's just not worth it. Going on a holiday, it's just not worth it to try and smuggle us. Like, why would you do that? Just go buy it where you're, where, where, where you're at. It's going to be more annoying, cool, but I think it's similar. I I attribute those type of things, again, I'm not really an addict in that way, but I understand the idea of why you want it when you're away somewhere because, you know, w what better place to enjoy the drugs that you like on vacation? That's probably the best place to be. But I would approach it the same way that I approach breakfast. When I go stay in Airbnbs, one of the things that I started to do, um, because in the past I would go stay in an Airbnb and I would kind of, use the airbnb as an, as a way to like save money on buy on on eating out because when you go on vacation sometimes you just eat, eat out like three times a day maybe more and you end up spending all your spending money all on fucking food and shit which can be annoying so sometimes if i get an airbnb in a country that i was vacationing in i would sometimes buy breakfast stuff so i'd go out to the local supermarket in that country and buy bread eggs and whatever so that at least in the morning i could have a coffee and a sandwich and an omelet before i head out so breakfast kind of covered but nowadays, I actually enjoy, even if I stay in an Airbnb, not buying anything, and only drinks, and actually going out and trying to find a coffee shop to get a coffee, because that makes you like go and explore, it makes you try and try different places out. Especially if you're staying for the weekend, maybe you might try a different coffee shop every single day of the weekend that you're fucking out there. That's actually a good thing to do. So maybe with the joint, same sort of thing. If you're really desperate to have a joint, maybe it's advantageous, maybe it's beneficial to maybe go out and try and find a local weed man and try and score your stick as opposed to trying to just take the stuff you already have from home and go there because if you get caught ooh, if you get caught ooh, 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 that's the only thing the re the reward is amazing you're on vacation wherever you are you don't have to go and find some random person you don't have to wait on a street corner or wait some down some alleyway or meet some non-desirable people you get just to pull it out of your purse spark it up and do your thing but the the negative, if you get caught, I don't know what type type of time that is. I don't know if that's prison time. I don't know if that's a fine. I don't know how it works. But god damn, I'd be fucking scared. That's gonna be a scary one to get pulled into that little room where people get pulled into the room where they're you smuggling and shit, and they lay out all your joints on the table. They make you confess and shit. You write a statement. You get your fingerprints. You got like all that. Oh, that's scary. That's scary. It's bad enough when you go into the airport. You always have that anxiety that you're gonna miss your flight. Imagine the extra anxiety of like leaving on your own accord to go to the airport, and then leaving the airport in the back of a meat wagon, <laughs> in the back of a police van. That is such an anticlimactic way to deal with your holiday. So I think most people should avoid those type of things. 
and just go and enjoy their trip how they want to enjoy their trip and if you want to have some fun and get your shit then ask the local bartender man I'm sure there's a little cocktail the guy that work behind the fucking bar serving you the cocktails ask him he probably will let you know there's probably someone he knows in his phone book who's looking to make some extra money and sell you some fucking oregano you know what i mean like it's not that deep it really isn't that deep but i love how these people completely misinterpreted this tiktok video this sandwich trick did not work no it does work if you're going to a festival these these people these people clearly look like they're at a festival that's clearly at a festival she's got a hot dog there aluminium foil and she's clearly sitting on the floor somewhere at a festival great that's gonna work at a festival because they're not searching you as extensively as they're searching at an airport but an airport with sniffer dogs no even at, to be fair even at a uk festival i'd be scared to do that because some uk festivals they actually have some crazy security searching fucking things as well so it's not you know what i mean like it's not all sunshine and rainbows when it comes to some of these festivals either so god almighty always always watch yourself always be careful don't take unnecessary risks because it really 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 and truly is not worth it but again what do i know absolutely nada